Race because up into fourth place luck at the end of the uh, first lap has come the number 42 BMW. So uh, that's Debo Scheider and former F3 racing bit called Jensen and contact here off into the gravel trap go two cars one of them is that the team man filter HTP car the championship leaders could well be the Audi is well and truly stuck in the gravel yes it is Marcus Pommer so Marcus Pommer the championship leader trying to come from the sixth seventh row of the grid buried in the gravel trap and the gravel traps are unforgiving here we've seen this in the uh, races so far today as soon as you go off in them Nine times out of ten, you get stuck in the gravel trap. Philip Geipel is racing here with uh, Rahel Frey. You can see he's rather animated about all this and not happy at all. Uh, so he's on the radio, no doubt explaining and probably laying a bit of blame here. The safety car is being deployed. Damage to the front left corner of Philip Geipel's uh, Audi. And it too is properly stranded in the gravel trap. A great shame because Philip and Rahel are both very quick drivers and drama as well. Uh, with a right rear puncture for the number 13 RWT Corvette of Sven Bart, who's starting the race, and Claudia Hurtgen, another very experienced, very quick pair of drivers, but uh, in trouble early on. In fact, it's Claudia that's starting uh, the race this time. She's in the qualifying session this morning, so she's the first driver in that one. Uh, but Claudia has uh, had some contact somewhere, I suggest, which has uh, picked up the puncture. The recovery team works very efficiently here. So it's the start of lap two uh, and going into the first turn. You can see how the circuit falls away here and you can see how wide that gravel trap is. That turn one incident is now under investigation as well. So they've got both starts to look at the officials and the incident at turn one as well. And Timo Bernard leads the way. It's all kicked off behind. It almost looks like two separate things there because the contact was between the Corvette and the Audi. The Audi coming off far worse, the Corvette carrying on but having the puncture. Kirchhoff was right behind, lunged down the inside. There was the contact, I oh, know, right, okay, they just caught the back. The Audi as it span, caught the back of Marcus Palmer. Look from the other angle as though he'd just gone off on his own. I think he was just tagged and in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. It was heavy enough, actually. Almost a square hit, but the car was turned into the corner. And that was why Marcus went off and around. So a frustrating weekend so far. It turns into a terrible weekend for the championship leaders. Oh, slid straight into the back, wiped out the uh, rear face. Didn't stop the car. And it was only when he made huge contact with the back of the Mercedes that uh, any of that speed was scrubbed off. Well, would you believe it? No, he says, I can't believe it. Max Gotts, who knows how to win a championship. Champion in this before he went off to race in DTM, coming back to GT Masters. But shaking his head because he's not going to get a chance to show what he can do in the second half of this race. Even if they get going again, they're going to be a long, long way down the order now. So here was the initial contact. The Corvette trying to get down the inside of the Audi. That end is sent into the back of the Mercedes which is helpless backwards into the gravel trap. The Audi, even if you could get out of the uh, gravel, I suspect has got quite a bit of damage from both hits and the Corvette picking up a puncture, limping on a bit further, but also having to come back to the pits. Well, that was really, really unfortunate for Marcus Pommer because there was nothing at all he could do about that. It wasn't his fight. And he was the break, essentially, for the Audi as it came sideways into the corner and could that be a critical moment Max Gotts and Marcus Pommer have been very consistent this year especially the second half of the season the last five results coming into this uh, weekend third third second sixth and fourth that's a sort of run that strings together a championship you can't win loads of races in GT Masters it's too close uh, the way the uh, dual qualifying format works as well you're unlikely to necessarily have two good grids on a weekend. So you try to pick up the odd win, but lots of podiums, lots of top sixes, that's where you make your money. And that's what they've been doing. One retirement, 